What's going on guys, Adaptations here, and today I'm out in the truck and I've got another games video for you. Before we get started though, I'd like to say that we're getting closer and closer every day to closing on the new house. Uh, our current closing date is going to be July 6th, and we're starting to plan out when we'll get certain utilities turned on there and shut off at the current house. Before we get too into that though, we need to make sure that the appraisal comes back and the house actually appraises for what we offered. We're pretty sure it will and that we're going to be golden, but really until the appraiser comes out and decides what he thinks the house is worth, we won't really know for sure. We're really excited to move because this is a huge achievement for anyone, but also just because there's been such strange things happening around our house currently. For example, it started when we went to mow and noticed that our mower was gone one day. It, it was really weird because it was there and we remember it being there and then all of a sudden we went to mow and it just wasn't there anymore. Not too long after that, my girlfriend's nephew saw a man outside of our house at like 2 a.m. when he was letting the dogs out, and then we started hearing weird noises and we had to call the cops to make sure that there wasn't anyone out there. They showed up and they didn't see anyone and said they didn't see any evidence of anyone being there, but it wasn't unheard of in the area and there have been a couple of other reports of similar things happening. Then last week, someone put a firecracker in a water bottle and let it off outside of our house, and then today, our garbage can just mysteriously went missing. It was there when we left at like 4 p.m., and then when we got back at 6, it was just gone. We have no idea where it is. Just yesterday, it also turns out that someone smashed our like button. All kidding aside, we legitimately have no idea what is going on, but it's getting weirder and weirder around here for sure. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the gains for the week, shall we? Monday, I managed to get 89,000 runecrafting XP and 11,000 mining XP, which is not great, but I was doing... A really slow skill and it's hard to complain about getting it slowly out of the way when we're making really good GP doing this as well so that's cool at least at least we have that upside Tuesday I managed to pick up a level which is cool so I got to 85 rune crafting and gained a total of 213,000 rune crafting XP and 25,000 mining XP which is great because I spent most of the day sitting on the couch playing on my phone frustrated about work so rune crafting was really a good way to unwind and was actually kind of relaxing Wednesday, we managed to pick up 161,000 runecrafting XP and 19.8,000 mining XP. Nothing else super exciting we're talking about in my opinion, but it's more progress towards 99. Thursday was another day I used runecrafting to unwind and played a bit longer and paid more attention, so I managed to pick up 86 runecrafting, gaining a total of 192,000 runecrafting XP and 23,000 mining XP. Only 13 levels left until 99. Friday was a huge day for the account because I received 231,000 runecrafting XP and 28,000 mining XP. If we could get this much experience every day, we'd hit 99 mining and runecrafting in no time. However, because we don't get anywhere close to that on a normal day, we'll probably max in like 3 months or so, unfortunately. Oh well, at least it'll happen this year, right? So Saturday was a really slow day because we went to one of the larger flea markets around us. Uh, on Saturday, I did manage to still pick up 87 runecrafting, a beautiful 300 million total experience, but I did only end up receiving about 74,000 runecrafting XP and 11,000 mining XP. Sunday, we also went to a flea market, but it was a much smaller one, so I had more time for scaping. I ended up getting around 135,000 runecrafting XP and 16,000 mining XP, which isn't the most XP I've ever gotten, but we're still pushing closer and closer to our goal. Alright guys, well, that's all I have for this video. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. It looks like COVID is starting to have a couple of hot spots that are popping back up. So just make sure that if you're going out, you're wearing a mask and trying to stay away from everyone if you can. If not, if you have to just kind of be out in the thick of it, then hopefully uh, you and everyone around you are washing their hands enough to make sure it's not an issue. But with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.